makes no sense. Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Well, I have another Integrity Toys doll to share with you guys today. But before we do, I just have to remind you guys that today's video is not intended or created for children. All of my content that I create is intended and created for adult doll collectors 18 years and above and anyone interested in fashion, beauty, etc, etc. If you are under the age of 18 and you really want to watch this video, please make sure that you are with a parent or a guardian 18 years or above and that they are in the room while this video is playing with you at all times. That way we are abiding by YouTube's new COPA regulations and no one gets in trouble and I can continue making fun doll content for all of us to enjoy. So today we're going to be taking a look at Ferocious Ksenia Valentinova. She is a doll from the Fashion Royalty Boudoir Collection, the, the second wave of it. We took a look at beautiful Jordan Duval, and uh, this was a, or this is a three-piece doll collection. There's Jordan, there's Ksenia, and then there is Natalia Fatale. Uh, who I think was like the star of the whole collection because everybody went gaga for her. <laughs> she comes in the same white beautiful FR box that our previous doll came in with the silvery gray sides here and trim. Um, yeah, gorgeous. By the way, in case you're wondering and you're new to my channel and you think that all these dolls are Barbies, they're not. Barbie is a branded product like Coca-Cola and chapstick. <laughs> uh, Coca-Cola is not the catch-all name for soda pop and chapstick is not the catch-all name for lip balm. It is lip balm and soda pop and Barbie is a brand. Uh, the item itself, the product itself is a fashion doll. I get many comments saying oh that's an interesting Barbie and it's like no girl this ain't no Barbie. This is a fashion doll uh, from a company called Integrity Toys and these dolls are not tr uh, for children to play with. They are 15 years and above, which is what the company designates it for. Uh, collectors 15 and up only. It's pretty much for adults. So if you are looking for something to buy your kids and you somehow stumbled upon this video, <laughs> heads up, this is not for children. <laughs> All right, are we ready to take a look at Ksenia? One, two, and three. <gasps> oh my god! Ba -ba boom! The first thing I noticed is her underboob. Look at that! <laughs> She's breathtaking. Wow. I mean, what an interesting, interesting face sculpt here. I've always been very curious about her face and her lips. And it's proving to be interesting IRL, for sure. Her ensemble is definitely very itty bitty. Definitely seeing some under boobage here. So, okay, okay. I'm loving that red, beautiful manicure and can't wait to get into her little accessory pouch. Oh my goodness. Fun fact, I actually worked with a model once named Ksenia and she was so sweet and so beautiful and I had never seen or heard that name before until I met her. So I've um, seen and heard it spelt and pronounced differently, but she told me that it was Ksenia. So I have forever <laughs> remembered it as Ksenia. Let's go ahead and take a look at her little accessory pouch here. Here she is without the accessory pouch in the way. So you can see her in all of her entirety. I'm really not that into lingerie dolls but these girls are just dynamite. Wow, you guys, amazing. Are we ready? One, two, and three. Oh my God, oh my God, these shoes. Oh my God, they know how to get you with the shoes, you guys. These are beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. These look like the most luscious pair of uh, Sergio Rossi or even uh, Gucci, perhaps from the Tom Ford era. Next to that, I see her beautiful little lipstick with all the changing lipstick bullets. Wow, I remember so many people like freaking out about this. So that's really, really cute. Next to that, I see her jewelry ensemble. We see two earrings and a gorgeous thick uh, like interwoven looking cuff there in gold. And then uh, last but not least, we see her gloved hands. Um, oh, thank goodness. She actually has hands attached to that because Jordan's was a trial. So this is, this is beautiful. I feel like a lot of you are gonna be really annoyed at me for saying this, but 
truth of the matter is I'm really not that into a lot of the little accessories and accoutrement that dolls come with. Please don't throw your rotten tomatoes at me, but I'm just saying like the little uh, lipstick bullet that she comes with or the little lipstick with all the little changing bullets, like obviously ingenious, you know, fabulous. I love that it looks like a Chanel lipstick, fabulous and great. Um, Jordan with her perfume bottle. I guess for me, I don't play with my dolls. Like you guys have seen the dolls in these cases have not moved. <laughs> And I've been filming here for a, a hot minute now. So I'm definitely very much like the dress them, put them on their stands and let them just look fabulous. <laughs> a lot of these little things end up being just kind of a pain in the arse for me because I end up losing them or, you know, shoving them into some box and forgetting about them. But that said and done, I am very appreciative that the designers go to such lengths to create fun things. And I know that so many of you guys who really are into all that stuff and creating dioramas um, absolutely love that. So, you know, it is what it is, but just thought I'd share. <laughs> Here is Ksenia. Her box, of course, as always, lifts up just like so from the outer box. Um, she's tied down with white silk ribbons as per usual. Her hairnet is also uh, tacked into place there. And then down here is her beautiful doll stand base. Here is my absolute favorite doll stand in the entire world. I still get a million questions from many of you asking which doll stands I use. All the dolls back in these two cases are on FR doll stands. They are a beautiful, clear, square, heavy uh, acrylic stands. Did I say acrylic? Yeah, they're acrylic. <laughs> I just love these doll stands because you can really get the dolls to uh, stand on the stand. Mattel stands don't telescope and the doll ends up hovering. And I just hate that, especially when you can see their feet. You know what I mean? For those of you who are not integrity followers or collectors, I can often buy these. I do often buy these on um, eBay if I just need like an extra lot. I feel like now it's harder and harder to find because I've let my secret out for a few years now and <laughs> their prices have definitely gone up from when I used to purchase them. Let's go ahead and get Ksenia out of her box here. What are you guys thinking about this boudoir collection? If you are into integrity or not, uh, let me know what you think. I feel like lingerie dolls can be very polarizing because some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, it never seems to be kind of in between, you know? So uh, I know that many of you are diehard Barbie collectors and we have bonded over that. But you guys, you know that I'm kind of an equal opportunist for everybody. Everyone's got their place at the table in my books, so. All right, here she comes, just like so. Wow, 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 oh my God, oh my God. She does have a little hand tag here beautiful little ITFR hand tag. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off, put that in the box. And then she has a beautiful big white hairnet here for all this gorgeous blonde hair. Oh, you guys know I'm a sucker for blonde hair. So her hair is also like a little bit funky and I can't remember if it's meant to be kind of here to the side like this, but it's not as gelled as Jordan's was. Um, but it's definitely like leaning this way. So that might also just have been the way that they, you know, were able to fit her into the box. She does also have a little bit of that clear monofilament uh, holding her top up. And I'm a little bit scared to cut it because this top does not look like there's much to it. <laughs> so I remember thinking that even from the promotional photos, like, oh, that's gonna be a hard top to keep up. Okay, well, surprisingly, it's staying up. <laughs> I'm very grateful that her stockings are on and that I don't have to mess with the garter belts. Let's go ahead and take her knee guards off here. Here is ferocious Ksenia Valentinova, up close and personal with almost all of her accessories on. The only thing missing is uh, her pair of gloves and her little lipstick. But I wanted you to see her in this ensemble. And I will tell you what, you guys, she is freaking gorgeous like blowing my mind in person. I will tell you what, the shoes are everything. Just beautiful. I mean, everything about her ensemble in person is truly just out of this world. Look at that face, just look at that face. 
The earrings are gorgeous, the hair, the hair color, her makeup, her screening, the lips, the teeth, this little bandeau top, this really beautiful pair of panties and the little garter belts. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely like very, very in awe of, of her and Jordan. Like so much more beautiful in person than I even expected. Here she is from the back. Her little panties are definitely very intricate and have lots of detailing there. I love the little peekaboo mesh area here. Definitely like very scandalous, very revealing, very in your face, very daring. These are independent girls who are not scared of anything or anyone. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. You see the little cream color soles there on her shoes. Here is Ksenia in her black gloves. And they are in fact a two piece uh, glove here in that they are black hands painted with the glove effect. And then they clip into her arm and the glove portion climbs up her arm really easily. Very, very easy to put on. Very uh, a nice contrast to Jordan's last week. I like the little bu uh, bugle bead buttons up here as well. And then I did in fact uh, put her bracelet back on her right hand over the glove. What do you guys think? It definitely gives her like a whole different look, right? Like changes up the vibe for sure. Okay, so there's not a whole lot for us to take a look at here, but I am going to take her uh, two little pieces off here so that we can see what the inside looks like. And yep, just as expected, beautiful. I hate to say it because that design duo has been in some sketchy waters recently, but this does give me like Dolce & Gabbana vibes. I feel like they do the whole leopard print slash animal print thing quite beautifully. Definitely very fitted. So if you are uh, planning to get these dolls, you have these dolls, you haven't yet taken them out, just be careful because their ensembles are very, very fitted. <laughs> Here is ferocious Ksenia Valentinova in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her fab FR physique. Her face is absolutely magnificent. The only, only thing that I'm wondering what is up with is why that black line around her teeth is so dark. Um, because if she was in fact parting her lips like that, where we could see her teeth, which as we know, Dear Barbie does often, like in the Lara sculpt, there really doesn't need to be that thick of a, of a black line. And I feel like I'm, just my eye is drawn to that more than it should be and I find it a bit distracting. But outside of that, I think her face is just marvelous. Stunning blue eyes, a beautiful mix of like taupes and uh, all sorts of kind of warm nude shadows there with a big, big, beautiful brow. Wow, I mean, <laughs> this is some makeup, honey. And a glossy red lip there with a little flush of pinky red blush. And I love these earrings. I feel like they look a little bit like handcuffs. Perhaps that was intentional. Love that. And I love that they're in gold. Her hair is really beautiful. I love this warm blonde color. There is some really beautiful styling detail here. And she also is meant to have that kind of beautiful um, femme fatale kind of wave that I know Jessie loves so much. There is definitely product in her hair. Not as much as I saw with Jordan's, but it could use a little zhuzh and brush as well. And then uh, here are her beautiful hands. She does have the long manicured new hands. And then there is her big thick uh, bracelet there. It's not a cuff, it's a bracelet all the way around. So her hand does need to come apart for that. And uh, yeah, I absolutely adore her. I think she's really beautiful. She does have a red pedicure as well. And then she has the same range of motion that we have seen in all of our previous FR dolls. By the way, she does have applied lashes as well. And look at her little nose. I'm like in love with her face. She, I feel like she looks so Beverly Hills, right? <laughs> and a little bit like uh, our beloved Lara face sculpt from Barbie from a certain angle. Okay, all right. Um, she does have like side glancing eyes as well. So a little bit of attitude. And then, yeah, she moves up here at her shoulder. Of course, her head moves 
around as well. And then here at the elbow, and then here at her wrist, she does have interchangeable hands in the form of gloves. And then she moves under her breastplate just like so. Has a cute little belly button. She does not have articulation at the waist, but you really actually don't need it with these dolls because of the breastplate moving. She kicks up just like so with her long, long, long legs and a beautiful knee joint here that bends her knee, high heeled foot mold, and then her leg does kick out as well. And when you look underneath, you can see the ball bearing mechanism that allows her to have this beautiful range of motion. And then when you turn her around, there she is from the back. Uh, just gorgeous like integrity's articulation is so beautiful I know that you guys know that already who are already big IT fans and um, yeah she's she's stunning what is it the blonde diamond doll I feel like it's really similar to this right love yes here is her beautiful little bandeau bra in the leopard print that she is uh, you know become famous for i guess <laughs> beautifully tailored beautifully made very surprisingly it stays up quite nicely on her which i was a little bit nervous about because these types of garments are really difficult to get to stay up uh, there is some darting detail here so we see that it is in fact sewn quite nicely to her figure it opens in the back with one charcoal uh, metal hook there and a little thread loop to go with that and inside the whole thing is beautifully lined. It's that same black lining fabric that we saw Jordan's ensemble in, and it's beautiful. Like the tailoring and craftsmanship are just sublime, you guys, like so, so beautiful. And here is the bottom portion of Ksenia's ensemble. It comprises of a beautiful little panty here with lots of peekaboo mesh detailing here and a waistband that wraps right up there at her natural waistline. And then we see little garter belts here that are in a pretty black ribbon with little garter clips, the same as Jordan had, and then black stockings, just like so. Um, there is the line that goes down the back of her leg. And I really like this little panty detail. It's very avant-garde, <laughs> very runway. Um, the peekaboo is done really nicely and cuts at just the right places. The fact that the panty portion is lined in black, do you see that? In that same black silk as we saw the top portion lined in. Beautiful. Like you guys, these are not easy things to make. You know what I mean? Like these are still made by, you know, average size humans and they definitely have like fingers um, of magic with their little irons and presses and stuff. But yeah, really beautifully done. This fabric actually feels like a silk, the animal print fabric, and it has like a really gentle luster to it. So I love that. The waistband up here is folded over beautifully. So it feels nice and cushiony like a true waistband of this nature should feel without adding bulk. So yeah, a really beautiful piece. If you are a lingerie admirer, um, I definitely urge you to look into these dolls. They unfortunately don't fit Barbie because these dolls are a little bit taller and bigger than Barbie, but um, I mean, you could. It's just, it, it just needs a little fandangoing, you know? But uh, yeah, I think silk stones actually fit these relatively well. Here are her beautiful stiletto pumps. I absolutely love these so much. It's a new silhouette that I have not seen or I don't recall seeing with integrity. So kudos to Jesse for always giving us beautiful new shoes. Love, love, love. I love the red silk insole so much. I love that beautiful strap that is kind of wrapping itself around her foot and giving it some security. I love that opening right there on the inside of her foot. I love that the toe box portion um, cuts so beautifully right across her feet. And I love this skinny black heel. Love, yes, love, obsessed with the beautiful beige bottoms that um, all designer shoes have. Just an exquisite little shoe. I mean, oh my goodness, I love this so much. And it's that same silk animal print fabric that the rest of her ensemble is in. So there we have it, guys. This is the absolutely stunning, just breathtaking, ferocious Ksenia Valentinova. She's from the 2019 
uh, Fashion Royalty Boudoir Collection Wave 2. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon after you hit the subscribe button and what that'll do is inform you every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates and where I've been doing uh, 15 minute IGTV insta boxings, insta deboxings. <laughs> and until I see you guys again, Ksenia and I are hanging out at home tonight because we still can't really go anywhere. So we're gonna bust out the cocktail shaker and just have a gale time here at home. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me and Ksenia here in Seattle. Mwah. And I'll see you guys again next week for another video. Okay, bye.